friends, family, and fellow resellers. I'm Tom, the Queen City Picker, and I want to welcome you to this episode of Let's Talk About It. Right now, it's just me. Um, but I'm going to get on with it. I dropped, I've decided to go with, with stream yards for my group hangouts zoom because StreamYard seems to be more fitting for what we use it for it's got a lot of functionality that it, that's better for what we do for you know for the hangouts zoom is a full-blown heavy-duty international meeting deal with you know, like we've said before, it'll hold up to 99 people plus streaming to YouTube. And also, it, I was paying for On Zoom, you have to pay for the pro version to be able to stream to YouTube. And whereas this one, you don't. So if I wanted to spend the same, basically the same amount of money each month, I could I could uh, upgrade Streamyard and I could get rid of their their logos off of it, their their watermarks, and have my own watermarks. So uh, and, you know, there's a lot of people that use the free version and uh, of stream yards and they do lots of hangouts and all that kind of mess and so if you're interested in thinking about doing hangouts it you know i think stream yard was is the best bet for what we do hey liz how are you tonight Well, Beth, uh, listen to us. Make something good. Hey, Adam's Exploits, how are you doing tonight? The second thing I is the Monopoly games. I mentioned it last week, I think it was. But uh, I was at a Walmart yesterday. And on the end cap, they had a lot of different the variations of the Monopoly games. But they had about, on the end cap, they had about 30 of the Miss Monopolies. And they had about 30 of the Millennial Monopolies. And then over on uh, the actual run, where the all the Monopoly games are, they had probably 60 or 70 more. So I don't think, I think, uh, is it Hasbro that makes Monopoly? I don't think they are going to, yes, I'm fighting with my cat again. Uh, I don't think they're going to miss the boat this time. I think they uh, saw where the um, eBayers and the Amazoners were making a killing off of them, and they weren't going to let it happen this time. So, Todd, if you're listening, son, call Dad. No, uh, you need to tell me how much one of your Millennium Monopoly games, how much you would sell me one for with shipping. Because I would like to see, I want to see what the chance cards are and the, you know, the what's it, uh, community whatever cards are. I want to see what they say. Hey, Marie, glad you could come in tonight. Yeah, Adam, when we were, my wife and I, we went to Las Vegas, I mean, to Atlantic City probably 
I don't know, four or five years ago, probably longer than that. The the Taj Mahal was still on on down by the boardwalk. It looked like the whole town had just it was going to hell. And I know that's not the people's fault. So don't start. Hey, Sarah, don't start covering me yet with hate mail. Um, but the boardwalk was beautiful. I've done dissertations about the boardwalk. I just thought that was so cool. I imagine back in its heyday, that was the place to be. Yeah, Liz, I know, poor Todd. Uh, that's the reason I'm going to buy one. Hey, hey, Valerie, chick picker. I put the link in the, in the chat if you wanted to come in. Um, it, oh, it's a hard rock now, Adam. Like I said, it's been that long. And we stayed at Harris because we have a Harris here in North Carolina up at Cherokee. But like I said, the boardwalk was so cool. Um, but yeah, that's the reason I told Todd to let me know how much one of his games is with shipping. I'd rather buy it from him than go to Walmart. Um, so I hope I hope a lot of people have not gone out and bought a bunch of those things. Uh, the Miss the Miss Monopoly because I've I've been to two WalMarts here in Charlotte. Oh, cool! Yeah, the Borgata was cool looking. Um, I've been to two WalMarts and they both had plenty of these damn games. So, you know, don't try cornering the market. I think Scott did that last year. And the next thing I was wanting to talk about was, and I'm y'all just hearing it from me because I have nobody in here with me, so I'm preaching to the choir tonight. Um, is this whole thing about the ad blocking? I went and looked at the the video a uh, video that Riley Roots put up, and what he was talking about is nothing what I heard about this afternoon. And I guess it's like the telephone game. And I don't know if that's the same person that other people were talking about that did testing on it or what. He, when he turned on his ad blocking, he wasn't losing anything that wasn't supposed to be there. What is happening is with the new push that eBay has done, and I did not know this until I watched this video just a few minutes ago. When you did when you did um, promoted listings, you had two listings. You had a permit promoted listing listing listing, and then in the, I think he called it the organic search, it showed up again. So your listing actually had two places. And what they've done with this latest fix is they've removed the organic listing. So all you shows up now is the promoted listing. And he made a valid, and if somebody clicked on your organic listing and bought it from that, apparently you didn't pay um, promotion fees. Well, now with the newer listings, there's only the promoted listings. Hey, just Pamela. And um, so if somebody buys it, they're going to pay the promoted listings fee. And he's like, well, that's not really right. Because he said a lot of people don't look at the promoted listings. He says, I don't look at the, the sponsored listings. I always go down to the organic. I guess that's, a, that's 
okay, but if you're going to pay for promoted listings, I would think you'd want promoted listings. I mean, you would you would want to uh, to be at the top. So, anything I said earlier today, just ignore it. <laughs> because that's not the case. Everything that's showing up is supposed to. Well, Tommy, if you've seen Riley Root's um, video, he talked to a woman at eBay, and with the current seller update, it will only show up one time as the promoted listing. It will not show up in the organic. There's the link, Tommy, if you want to come in. I hate talking and... and Exactly, Adam. And that's what, I don't know what his real name is, Rally Reeds. Um, that's what he was telling her is that it's kind of like stacking the deck for eBay because now you don't have the second option. If you're pay paying for promoted, if it sells, it sells off of the promoted listing. And like I said, I didn't even know that it was, that it showed up twice. So you're actually getting two for one. But um, okay. So Ryan, you know, he he called them. Uh, if y'all haven't seen the listing, he called and talked to the people. I would suggest you go look at the 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 video after you finish watching my show. And. Uh, Let me see if I can find it. Valerie, if you still have that link, could you put it into the chat, please? It's very informative. And like I said, it what he was saying was nothing what I was hearing earlier today. You know, I was hearing like, the, the hey, Cindy. Casey, is that um, Super Salesman? No, that's not it. What's his name? I'm sorry. I forget people's name. I'm old. I call my sons by, uh, by their other their brother's name after time. But um, Rockstar Flipper, thank you. I knew it was something like that. <laughs> um, so it is kind of a bummer because probably people, I don't know. I, I didn't know. I was ignorant. I didn't know that they had the other listing. You got the other listing. So, you know, I was expect, I was expecting to pay the promotions. And so it's not a big deal to me. So I, I don't, you know. A7 is enough. Welcome. I don't know whether, I mean, I guess to some, a lot of people it's a big deal. It was a big deal when I was paying for promoted listings and people's ad blockers were not, you know, allegedly knocking out the promoted listings, but that's not the case. His promoted listings kept coming up whether he had his ad blocker on or ad blocker off. So... Yep, that's what I said. And that's what the lady said. So, you know, like I said, if you if you count on the double listing,
you know, I don't know about all that, Tommy. All I know is that she said that it would only show up one time. If if you don't have, if you're not doing promoted, if you're doing promoted, it's going to show up at the top, but it's going to be who pays the most gets to come first. In the organic one, it's just what, however they they pull search engine of this their search statements on that. Yes, Tommy, you can either choose to promote it or not promote it, but it's only going to show up one time. It's either going to show up promoted or it's going to show up as organic. That's what you just said in your your message right there. Whereas now, well, up until this this update, it would show up twice. So I think that has put that to bed. Because I need, because they were talking about the, the ad, the ad blockers knocking it out. And I just, I had problems with that because the, uh, that's inside of eBay system. So I, I, you know, I didn't really think that the ad blockers could knock it out. Okay. I, I don't care if it shows up, Tom, if it shows up, if, uh, if it shows up in organic and somebody buys it from it, then you don't pay the promoted fees. So, whatever. Uh, Cindy says, well, I don't, but I have no sales yesterday. And as soon as I took promoted off, I had two sales proof in the pudding, as they say. Yep. Or the people happen to come by. But like I said, he did, he was doing searches on video, on, you know, on his video, and it was showing up. So, I don't know. I'm just going by what he said and what the woman at eBay said. Well, good, Beth. How many did you get listed today? Did you get your usual 50 done? Hey, blended whiskey. Oh, you just got to, you got all your drafts set up. How many drafts did you get done? I know you were beating away that keyboard this morning. Man, are y'all getting flooded out again? Yeah, you, you guys that are in the, the area that's getting hit by these storms, you know, you're in our prayers. You know, move to Alabama. That's a good place I hear to live. Hey, Mike, how are you doing tonight? Oh, wow. Well, 
Well, I'm glad to hear that you didn't have any damage. Your house didn't get flooded, Beth. Hmm. My uncle had a place on the Waccamaw River, which is outside of, it's between Conway and, and Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And every spring, and the, the Waccamaw River makes its way through South Carolina up into North Carolina. Every spring, the water would rise up to about six inches beneath the uh, floor of his house. And they would, uh, hey Marie, they would they would have to use a boat to get to their house every year, like clockwork. It happened because the Waccamaw would flood. But he and his wife loved it down there, and they would take their boat back and forth from Highland down to the uh, to his uh, his their house. Is Ricardo down in the Houston area too? Hey, Mr. Sadie, how far? Hey, ice cold water. Yeah. It's, um, I don't know. They just need to leave stuff alone. Yeah, Adam, my uncle's place was probably, well, I tell you what, you can leave his house and be sitting in Myrtle Beach in about 25 minutes by water. I'm wondering, I do wonder whether they were, how long it took them to uh, catch on that they were getting, people were getting dust, double listings off of the promoted. Because, you know, they don't give you, hey, Commonwealth Picker, they don't give you anything for free. Yeah, it is. It, it is. Yeah, Marie, but you know, if anybody wants to come in here with me, I'll put the link back in the in the chat. Um, I totally forgot what I was going to say now. Oh yeah, the other platforms. It's going to take it's going to take them a while. These other platforms to catch up. Wow, 30 inches of rain. Adam Zekboit says, I saw an interview with where certain areas have more than 30 inches of rain overnight. But Beth Todd, Silver Hair Stacker, said you could send some of that rain up to him. And, you know, it's like, Valerie, you still in the chat? I'm going to talk about you. You know, there's some of these people have got, they're like cross-listing to all these different platforms. And, geez, I, I do good to keep up with one. Um, yeah, you know, offer up just doesn't seem to, it just doesn't seem to have the, the big following around here. 
it seems like there's a, a million listings, but not a really a lot of buyers. Now, mind you, I have sold, I've sold some stuff on there, and uh, I think maybe in some of the more some areas it's really popular. And what's the other one? Offer up and let go. I've sold a couple of things on each one of them, but I've listed a hundred things on there to sell a couple. Um, yeah, I, I don't think it's just got a, I don't think it's got a consistent following. Yeah, Mr. Sadie. Yeah, I'm staying with stream uh, stream yards. I just canceled my Zoom because I had some problems connecting to it, connecting to YouTube on it. I just like some. I like some of the features on StreamYard better. I'm th I'm thinking about because I was I had you have to subscribe to Zoom to get the U the YouTube uh, connection. So for the price of the the Zoom, I could if I wanted to get rid of their log their their watermarks and stuff like that, I could do that. Hey Texas Val, how you doing, honey? Hey, good looking. Hey there. Good yeah. looking. I, I don't feel good looking. <laughs> like your shirt. <laughs> oh, sorry, I had a couple of things to wrap up. That's okay. Good so right. thank, thank you for posting that link, by the way. Who? You, you, didn't you post a link about going to Rally Roots earlier? No, I didn't post that. I okay, whoever posted it. <laughs> I thought you did it. No, I've been on the run today. I'm kind of mm. losing my mind tonight. Hey, Val, Texas Val, you want to come in too? Come on, Texas Val. Come on, get in here. Oop, wait a minute. Is that the, which one is that? That, uh, that might be the show one. Hang on a second. Um. Yeah, that was the YouTube one. Hang on. People are probably saying, you lying old fart. Oop, that looks even worse. Okay, there it is. What's the matter? My hair. Did you just re dye it? No. Just like to stick it. It's purple. There's some blue and there's some purple. There's for some reason, uh, when I was using that other color, I guess it wasn't a shampoo. I thought it was a shampoo, but it wasn't. And for some reason it dyed part of my hair blue or it turned blue. Instead of being purple, so you know, it's just, it's just did you shake it? Good, did you shake it good to make sure the pigments were yeah really good? Yeah. Yeah, then, she looks good. Though. She always looks good. She can come out here with her hair all looking like uh, Phyllis Diller in a in a, in an old paper bag, and she'd still look good. Yeah, I don't know about that, but you're just so, supposed to say yeah. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Lewis. Uh, whatever you say. We're doing good tonight, Lewis. How are you doing? 
Hey, Dagon Hills. And triple seven. I didn't see you come in. I'm sorry. Triple sevens? That's my lucky number. Actually, Ringo, no, don't do that, please. Um, so I pretty much covered what I had planned on covering. I thought I'd have people in here to ch to, to fight with me and <laughs> well, I think I think the fighting is pretty much between last night and today. I think people pretty much got that out of all you know out of their system. Um, I don't even remember last night. <laughs> okay. Well, you know. Oh, I got another good looking one coming in here. What can yeah. I care about that? You like older women, huh? <laughs> I'm old enough to be your daddy. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, no. Maybe Val. I think no. I mean, I, Val Reese. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'll be 62 in December, mm -hmm. so y'all will just do the math yourself. No. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have been a really young daddy. <laughs> What are you working on? Well, dang. Me? Rico, stop. I'm not working Go on anything. What are you right doing? Now. I've, been, I've been doing some sugar daddy. Yeah, these are my girls. What, you got more jewelry? <laughs> yeah. I was trying to open it this afternoon whenever I got interrupted. And so now I'm going to dig into it since I'm sitting in front of it again. Behind it. With it. Yeah, that's good. I was going to chit chat and dig around here. We'll Nine dig. Nice oh. five. Ooh, I like that ring. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. That was in that uh, Donatella. Oh, I got to look at the belt buckles. Oh, did you get your belt buckles? Yeah. Like <gasps> yesterday, day before yesterday, oh I mean, my gosh. really quick. Oh my gosh. I think you've already seen them though. Yeah. The majority wanna, of them. Yeah, I want to see what I bought. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, 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 really. What did Mike say? I, I don't have the chat up. Okay. Um no telling. Oh crap! I missed another chance to stir crap, uh, crap up. <laughs> oh, it's been doing this good on its own. Uh, you don't mm -hmm. need to stir any up. Do y'all not see the chat? Does the chat not come up on y'all? No. no, it only comes up on yours. Well, I don't I'm know. Sure. That could be a lie. Uh, look at the menu on the right hand side. Yeah. Is there a comment up at the top? Yeah, it says live comments or private chat. Hit live comments. Okay. I did. Okay. I guess did I can see it. Yeah. Oh. I guess I, I thought it was only is that, uh, That's what I thought, too. Craig told me that uh, that was a new feature they added. Oh, okay. That's and that was another feature. reason I kind of dropped Zoom to go to this, because it was such a hassle keeping up with the dadgum chat. Because if you touch something on your screen, you'd lose your chat. Yeah. Uh, okay, now I see everybody. Hi, Beth and Adam. Mike. Liz. Liz, yeah. Marie. Mike, if you want to, if you want to come in, the, the link is in the chat. Come in. John Jones. Hi, John Jones. That is, isn't that Nevermore, Nevermore Antiques? No. Uh -huh. No, that's not him. That's, that's John Johnson, I think. Hey, John Jones. What you doing, Ring? Hmm? You think you need to be up here and sit with me? Hmm? The Ringo? Um. Yeah, poor. Okay, so you're you're further north than Houston, correct, Val? Don't ask me direction that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's north northern north of Houston. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Because they're yeah. getting seem to be getting a lot of rain down there. Yeah, they're they're getting a ton of rain. 
Yeah, you don't ask me north, south, west, or east. That's what I meant. <laughs> you did pretty good, though. You did pretty good while we were, while I had we were a, driving. I had a GPS, Valerie. Well, well that works, too. <laughs> hey, Swamp Baker. What you need, Wayne? Glenn, you want to come in? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Beth knows good direction. She said, yes, Val, you are northwest of Houston. Yeah. Thank you. See, I'm northeast of Kansas. Why? Every time I get online, you come here. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you, when, what direction did you go when you jumped out of that airplane? We're down. Well. Down. <laughs> is, is that Mr. Texas Val? No, it's my son. Okay, I was just wanting to clarify that because I was like, dang, Val, you go from young. <laughs> oh, gross. My baby. So she can have her dog, but you won't even let me be here. It's most what? Oh, she can have her dog. Well, her dog, yeah. Her dog didn't. Well, yeah, her dog does have to be fed all the time. I already got her dog gone fight with my cat, and your son walks in, and you just send him off. <laughs> this afternoon, they came in, and I was doing a live on my channel, and they come, and they were like, oh, I'm hungry, and making a bunch of noise with this lamp over here, squeaking, and oh, gosh. like, oh, my goodness. And then here I go, get on again, and here he comes. Oh, no. How old is he? Huh? How old is he? 21. Okay. He turned, he turned 21 in June. And he's coming in wanting something to eat because he's hungry? Did you say the yeah. kitchen's in yonder? He he made his own lunch today. They okay. just want to pester me. It's okay. just so, yeah. Actually, I made dad lunch. Yeah, he made he made his dad and him lunch. Uh, does he work for the family business? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's the one that went through the firefighter academy too. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yep. Very cool. Who said you wanted cereal? <laughs> this is how old good. Adam wants to know how old your dog is. I think Ringo is I think he's two. That's pretty bad. I don't even know how old my dog is. I think he's two I years old. Got him. Uh yeah, I think he's two. I think, I think you're right. I think and I think Ringo or Elvis is uh, uh, he's probably around six, six or seven years old. But he's a he's a chug. He's a Chihuahua pug. Um, he he has more of the Chihuahua features, but he does have the um, the ring um, or the the tail. Right. Great. Like that. Yeah. yeah, he's he is very alert. He's he's a good dog. He's is nosy. Tommy, is Tommy still in the chat? I don't know. I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him. Right here. They're calling me a cougar though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what my husband actually does call me. Cougar. Oh really? Yep. There you go. I'll say you're right. <laughs> <laughs> um, what you need, Rain? Like I said, you know, some of the you, you Texas girls, you kill them off early, and then you just remarry some younger ones. So. Killing the bud? Yeah, I don't know. What you doing? What you doing? You work them to death in that heat down there. Hey, he chose that occupation. You know, it's been really. Uh, I'm sorry, Beth, you're getting covered up in rain, but the temperature has been really nice. We've got all our windows open in our house. That's how nice it is. That's what Tina was saying. That it was. She said it was hotter inside than it was outside. It was. We've had our air conditioner, and we keep our air conditioner set about sixty-eight. Oh my god! And. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, uh, Vanya gets in the car with me. I have to make sure his blanket's in the back seat because he covers up with his blanket. He's so cold. Um, Skinny people. Yeah, he, he's about this big around. You know, yeah. He's, he's got like a 20-inch waist. Right. Um, 
you mentioned the belt buckle. A friend of mine and his family went to a dude ranch in Texas this past summer. And his son is 13 years old, and he's got about a 12-inch waist. And he came back. Well, they sent me some pictures. And his son is in his Western do, you know, clothes. He's got on a pair of jeans and some cowboy boots, a Western-y looking T-shirt. And he's got on this belt buckle that looks like it's the size of a hubcap off of a Cadillac. Oh, my God. That's so funny. I said, can he stand up right? With that buckle on? Mm, that would hurt to sit down with that thing stabbing you in the stomach. I bet that he did not sit down. I bet he didn't sit down until it was time to uh, get a shower and go to bed. That's, yeah. He's just high energy all the time. Hi, Glenn. Glenn, so, if you want to come uh, in, dude, the, the link, I'll give you the link again, but it's in there. All Mike right. says, Rick. So the great destroyer of inventory and the pillow humper. <laughs> and he looks like an angel, doesn't he? Um, actually, he's not he's not much of a humper. <laughs> um, anymore. Well, he didn't that was that was Roscoe. Oh. Roscoe was the humper. I thought um, yeah. but, but Ringo, he's he's not been he's not been um he's not been bad at all. And Good. as far as inventory, not really. Because I pretty much have everything up high enough where he can't get to it. Now, every once in a while, he'll pull something off the shelf where I'm not looking. And but, yeah. Well, eat your dinners, Glenn. I made baked chicken and baked beans and mac and cheese for supper. That sounds good. I had a personal size pizza. <laughs> That's what I had for dinner. Yeah. I told them when I went and got groceries on Sunday that I wanted them to make up. They needed to tell me what they wanted for dinner every night. And they did. So they've been eating high on the hog this week. Uh, Marie says 68. My heater is set at 70. <laughs> <laughs> That's about like me. I usually have my air. My air is usually set for 76. And my heat is usually set at 74. Yeah. It sounds about right for me too. Yeah. I don't, I don't like it. And I have a fan blowing on me, so I don't need uh, I don't need to be freezing. I don't like to be freezing cold. No, it's nice to be kind of cool, but not. Mm -hmm. I'm, you know, and I year round I sleep with two blankets. Yeah. Well, a sheet and a blanket, and then a big cover on the top. But um, I don't usually use a big cover. Yeah. How on earth? Look at this, Valerie. It's it's turquoisey color. I think that light being on is really making that camera. Yeah. But that's, that's ugly looking. I wonder if that's real. It looks painted yeah. kidney stones. <laughs> what is that? It's it's, it's like a, a tur turquoise. I don't think so. You don't think it's real? No. Cause it would be on silver and I don't, that's not silver. I don't think so. Okay. Mm -mm. Wow. That was scary. I'm sorry. Did I make a noise? No, 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 no. I just like, like it, the whole thing started, uh, uh, um, uh, I'm, 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 I'm like it was searching for a signal. Oh, that's oh. cool. Yeah, that's yeah, so like that. it's that's an onk. Isn't that an onk? Yeah. The Egyptian okay. thing? I don't no. know if it's a it's is it Egyptian or is it like a... It looks religious like a... Something well, like it looks like an onk to me. I don't know. Yeah. Which is a, an Egyptian religious symbol. Beth says, uh, next time you come to Texas, chick picker, you need to come stay with us. Okay. Hey, Ricardo. 
I don't I really know do where that. that's gonna, when that's going to be, but. <laughs> you staying dry down there, son? Ricardo? She's going to move. Oh, Ricardo's here. Hi, Ricardo. Yeah, I was just asking if he was, you know, staying dry, uh, dry down there. Is he in Texas? Yeah, Beth, too? Beth agreed with me. That's an onk. It's an onk. Okay. Ooh, a -A -A. Ooh, that would be fun. What do you want? She said, "Take you to Galveston and NASA." Oh, that would be yeah. We talk, yeah. Mary, mm -hmm. you wanted to see a. Uh, You'd have to go when the rocket takes off. That's going to have to be planned out. Or you can just go to NASA and visit the, see all the things they have at the. Oh, like heck the no. I want to go on the rocket, baby. I know, right? Blast off. <laughs> I know. <right? laughs> she, she jumped out of an airplane and went to the ground just about as fast as she, she'll she go up in the air towards the, in a rocket. So she wants to go the other direction for once. Hey, why not? <laughs> Why not? For real. Yeah, Valerie's going to, she, well, she's going to start putting up videos where she's bridge jumping and all that kind of stuff. Uh, uh, mm. No, so I, don't I, do, I, do, I, I don't do bungee cords. No, thank I you. Don't. No, you haven't seen them like they do it out in at one of the bridges in Vegas or around Vegas. <laughs> They jump off. Uh, they dive. Jump off. There's bridges that they've got walkways across, so they can they can skydive off of them. They just jump off the side and no nope. to the nope. ground at ninety miles I, an hour. I think I, I want I want it a little more controlled than that. Yeah, I'm I'm signed up to do a zip lining excursion uh, in November. Oh, cool. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. In Mexico. In Mexico. Mm hmm That's where uh, Cozumel? No, that's when it's going to be in. Oh. Uh, well, we're going to Cozumel. Uh -huh. It's uh, Santa something. I don't know. I'd have to look on the paperwork. Hmm. It's it's right before Cozumel. And it's not Progresso. It's something else. Hmm. Let, wait, let's see here what we can find out. We went we went to uh and watched an uh actually it was one o'clock in the morning, um a shuttle launch down in Florida. That was spectacular. I wanna see that. That was just totally amazing. Beth, do they ever do that in Houston? I'm sure they do. I don't. Sure. I think they have a runway there, but I don't think they launch from down there, um, and they don't launch shuttles at all anymore. Beth, you almost got left by the cruise ship. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I bet there were calling your name over the loudspeaker. Oh, I bet there was. <laughs> Waited. I bet there was some ugly passengers on there too. You know that's right. Because they put when we left out of uh, Nassau, they there were people that were they kept saying, "If you're aboard, you need to go. Let us know." And uh, they kept doing that until the point that they said, "Final call." Uh oh. And then they started pushing away. That's not good. Hey, well so somebody's vacation no, got screwed up real fast, like really fast, like. Mm. <sighs> we were in a restaurant and couldn't get them to bring the dang check. Oh, I just said, "Look, oh, I gotta yeah. catch a ship. You better yeah. bring me the damn." <laughs> You bring me the bill or I'm out of here. Yeah, if you think about it, all you gotta do is run and jump on the ship and that's it. <laughs> well, I know when we went to uh we went to Catalina and they had to bring us in by uh a smaller boat. Mm -hmm, yeah. And 
you know, so that could be kind of, I mean, if you miss that boat and then you miss the big boat, yeah, you're in there. Yeah, in there. Do do. <laughs> there. Yeah. Yeah. I liked Catalina Island. I've been to Catalina. I, I loved it. I love that place. It is amazing. I loved the the casino. Like we didn't we didn't go to any of the, we didn't go to the casino or anything like that. Um, we went to a couple of the little um, restaurants there, but that was pretty much it. Well, um, the the casino is like a museum. When we were there, it was a museum. It hadn't been a casino since like nineteen sixty one. Okay. Okay. So it was not a real casino. It's just like a museum now. Yeah. It, it was looks nice. like it looks like just a like a coliseum type. Yeah. You know that's how it's built, um, with all the pillars and everything. It was just so beautiful. But was, I mean, just the ocean and and the water, just absolutely beautiful. We were going to go scuba diving. Mm -hmm. And that water was so damn cold. I said, I'm not going. <laughs> Yeah, that water is pretty. That was chilly. when I was thin. I don't have, didn't have the fat, you know, that that layer of fat like I do now. Yeah. Hi, Johanna. Jeez, I'm trying to find my moderator. Thanks, Tom. Bellin. See you later, Adam. Who are you Hi, moderating Adam. for? Moderator. Oh, Pat D's maybe. I don't think Pat. I don't think Pat comes on till like one o'clock in the morning. Well, <laughs> he does these late night shows. Pat D's Thursday night thirty. Yeah, he does. He is coming on right now. Oh, he's coming on right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry. That's all right. Yeah. Oh, rock star. Rockstar's already. Oh, yeah, he does come on. He does his the nine. So he'll be he'll be coming on because he's in Florida. Did you see the um did you see that video that I sent that Rally Roots did that experience? You're the one that sent it. Well, I have to keep you informed. Oh well, I, I'm glad you did because what that video did you watch the video? I sent it, yes. Okay. That video was was what they were discussing in the chat earlier had nothing to do with what that video was going on about. I mean, oh, it, really? no, I mean, they were talking about like the uh, ad blocker knocked out all of the promoted listings. Oh that, yeah. That's not the way it was. So no. thank you very much for sending that video. Well, I sent the other one too. So <laughs> I need to go back and look at that one. Yeah. Cause I mean, I think I seen a few of them, but uh, they called eBay. Wow, yeah. in that video, uh huh, and talk to them. It's very interesting. It is. Huh. It was very performative. Very. Mm -hmm. I have to go and listen to that. Because I mean, you know, nobody truly knows what the heck is going on. A lot of it is, you know, uh, speculation and and stuff like that. And and maybe you know, maybe some of the, some of these people have. You know the the bigger YouTubers or whatever. Maybe they've got some inside, you know, uh, information that we, you know, peons don't. We we don't. And uh, I don't know. Um, I just figured today. You know what? I'm just gonna keep doing what I've been doing, and that seems to work. And you know, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I fell for the sky is falling type of thing, but um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not buying into it. It's and all I right. Should, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have, but I did. Well, watch it's it. A Just watch it and then decide. Yeah, I'll have to watch that. I'll have to watch that. Definitely. Well, I was trying to find Cozumel, and I couldn't locate it. So I don't know exactly where the heck it is. It's part of Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really, Valerie? <laughs> really? <laughs> it's 
letting you know. I am so glad you gave me that clue. <laughs> <laughs> Like shut yeah, up, Valerie. I know. <laughs> uh -huh. It'll be okay. It really will be. <laughs> well, you know, it was like the telephone game, and actually, somebody mentioned the telephone game this afternoon about the whole thing, and uh, you know, things just gets out of control. Yeah. But it's you know it's easy to it's easy to um, overreact, um, or at least I usually will kind of keep it calm and you know wait because usually something like that it's going to spill over into the next day and that's what everybody's going to be talking and that's going to be the topic and um, so I usually don't don't react to it but then i was like man that just seems so you know weird and you know everybody's sales have been kind of you know up and down and not so great and so right you know uh what the, what's that what's that saying uh respond uh it's, it depends on how you respond or you react you know um, mm -hmm. And I think I just reacted rather than, you know. When did you do that? Was that like last night in the middle of the that night? That was last night. That was last night. Did that video that I sent wake you up? Or was it before then? Uh, no, it was, it came yeah. out, I think maybe around 10-ish. And you saw it then? Yeah. Okay. It's is um Sally going to work tonight? She yeah, has to work tonight. Yep, she has to work. Hey Sally. Sally. Just woke up to go potty. Thought I would oh I thought she was gonna say poop in. Pop in. <laughs> <laughs> Don't poop in. But you mm. never know what kind of you know, honestly, you never know what's gonna happen. I mean what eBay's gonna come up with or what problem is going to pop up. Well, that's true. And and you know, you have to be you want to be informed and you want to know what the heck is going on. I called Sally last night. I knew she had to go to work at 11 and I called her last night and I was like, I told Brandon, tell Sally to call me when she wakes up. It's not an emergency, but just tell her to give me a call when she wakes up. Well, I think I, I think I called her. No, maybe she called me. I don't know. I don't remember. I was like, well, she should be up by now. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, so I told her and she's like, hmm, okay. So, you know. She didn't have the same response that you did. And I think I think she I think she was concerned, but I don't think she was I don't think she reacted near as bad as you know what I did. The sky is so, falling. Yeah. It's all <laughs> You know, I, I was talking to, uh, he's a new subscriber of mine, and we've been talking back and forth. And he um, he said his sales have been good. He's been shipping about 50 items a day. Wow. E. That's pretty good. And he, but he said, you know, it's just consistent. But he says he, he and his wife list all day long. Mm hmm Oh. They they list Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and Tuesdays and Thursdays. They're sourcing. They've got wow. young kids, so Saturday is is kid day, and Sunday they do church and it's family day. Who's mm -hmm. this popping right here? Look at there's Todrick. <laughs> hey Todd. Hi Todd. What are you doing awake? Right? He's been staying up late lot lately. And I thought it was just because he couldn't sleep next to Gwen because they both smelt like skunk. Oh, that's this cute. This is the initials. It is silver. Uh-huh. But it has the initials um on the back. J W B R. Hmm. And here's another silver ring, but it's tarnished. Todd, 
Todd yeah. heard jewelry. He sent somebody had jewelry on eBay. I mean, on YouTube. And he had to come in here to find out who has. <laughs> okay, here. Here's a watch. There you go, Todd. It's a looks like vintage. I don't know. Oh, it's really it's your, your necklace. Yeah, like a pendant. Or yeah. a pendant watch. Hmm. You know, there's a there's several nurses at the hospital. They wear the little upside down e watches, you know, so they can mm -hmm. clip it up and it, mm -hmm. it right side up to them. Which oh is yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Todd, you okay? Todd, he's uh, frozen. He's frozen. His hand's not moving. Oh, yeah. oh, there he is. He's back. Oh, he's back twice. Oh, no, there's two of them. <laughs> okay, the other one dropped off. Todd. Todd. Can you hear me? I can hear you now. Hey, do you want to hear me now? No. Oh, sure. <laughs> Texas Val was hoping you'd pop in so you could say, oh, you got some good stuff there. How much you want for it? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no. Oh, oh, Sally, you could have got by. Unless you're talking about, uh, no. the, I like the little snowman. So, Todd, do you still have any of the uh, Millennial Monopoly games? Is he frozen Got again? Everyone. But. Okay, there he is. Well, if you'll send me your PayPal address and how much one shipped would cost, I'll, I'll buy one from you. I don't want you to have to go hungry because you're sitting on those half <laughs> 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 <Not the> games. <laughs> that was the first topic off the list this morning. Uh, this when I started the show about. They're not going to let the eBayers and Amazoners make all the money this time. They have got them slammed. I talked to the toy manager at one of the stores where I know I know the manager's at, and she's like, "We've got cases of this stuff in the back." Oh wow! And I said, "Is a paper scan?" She said, "Yes, sir." Paper scan is they don't pay for it until it goes through the register. Mm. Hmm. Okay. How do you know this? Oh. Are you there, Todd? Yeah. Okay. Are those pearls? Can you hear me? No. Yeah. They're just white, white beads. Okay. You're just not as strong okay. speaking wise this late at night. <laughs> the floor is yours. And Tara was going to an auction tonight. Do you want to hear? You have a story? Glenn, you're going to have to connect your mic, hit the little button to collect your mic, connect your mic and your uh, cam before you can, I can add you. There you are. So Hello. tell us the story, Uncle Todd. Hey, Rick, do you can hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? A yes, little bit. Okay. <laughs> About five years ago, this rich guy in our town has hired me and a young man from two bars to Florida. And 
He and his wife. Tony, okay. Hold, I think hold, you're gonna have to save this story. Hold it just a second, Todd. You're breaking up. <laughs> it's real bad. Yeah. yeah. Like every it's other thousand, word. Not every other word. Like this. Aww. I'm sorry. Okay. I wanted to hear the, Every, I wanted about the uh, trip to Florida. Oh. Oh, here we start. How are you tonight, Glenn? Doing good. How's your sales been? Slow. No, uh, I think I had one went out yesterday, whatever. Or well, the day before I packed it and I'm cleaning out and oops, you know. Didn't get out until uh, I think today. Right. Sally says she guess she's going to get the car tomorrow. Oh, oh really? That's awesome. That is. I am very excited for you. Oh, she's buying a new car. Yeah, she's getting. I think it's a. I think it's used, but she's getting a new, a newer car. New, new, a new uh, her uh, car. That's awesome. I am so happy to hear that, Todd. Any better now? Yeah. Can you hear me? You're breaking up still. Say something else. Up. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'll just sit here. No, you uh, keep, keep talking. Keep talking. Yeah. It sounds like it's working now. Work, working now? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I think you're lying to me. I don't think it's working. <laughs> I think you just only you. you're only hearing every other word. Right now you're right now you're good. So talk fast. Yeah, you you're good. You're good. Right now, you're good. So, so fast. So talk like you're in New York, not in uh, in Texas. <laughs> 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 okay, some rich guy hired you and some young boy to drive to Florida. Talk about New York. <laughs> Drink yourself now. Yeah. Yeah, breaking up. Now. Okay, Todd, you jinxed yourself. <laughs> You're breaking up. Oh, man. What is it about Texas and their Wi Fi down there? It's pretty crappy. Todd, get off some of that damn oil money you got and uh, <laughs> get your fiber optic, dude. <laughs> oh, you get an Equinox. Those are cool. Those are wow. a very nice car. Yeah, the Equinox is the size is the size one size smaller than our Outlook, which is about the size of a Ford Ranger. But mm -hmm. anyway, I mean a Ford Explorer. But those things are nice cars, and they don't have the same damn transmission that we have, which was a pain in the butt. <coughs> Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Time to call the internet guy again. Sally says. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're having some issues down there. They must be. Mm -hmm. Probably the weather down there. Are you getting any of that weather, Glenn? I'm not, no. I think we got some of the outer band. I mean, the outer band, we got like a little shower. Right. But that's about it. But nothing like <laughs> Got the more of it in Louisiana, but I've been watching a little bit, man. It's, it's already on, you know, Houston's pretty much underwater, you know, a lot of it. Yeah, if Beth is still in here, she's been telling us about it. You know, contact a couple of my customers that live over there on boats, uh, you know, the, some of my reseller people I know and my dirt bike customers. And so it's about, you know, street's got water in it right now. That's hoping it doesn't come up to the door or anything. <laughs> When you think of Texas, when I think of Texas, I don't think of flooding. <laughs> I I think of uh, big sprawling areas of nothing with tumbleweeds. <laughs> oh my gosh! That'd be Kansas. Yeah, you know, El Paso and all that's where you see the tumbleweed more way out there. Mm. Hey, JDS flyer. How are you tonight? Wow. 
Well, see, that'll be good. You have two vehicles, Sally. You can leave one of them up at the store when the snow's going on, so you at least you only have to walk one way. <laughs> oh, she won't be walking with this car. She should be good to go. Well, when that white stuff starts falling. <laughs> One more year. <laughs> I'm doing good. JDS. One more year. That's it. One more year of winter, and that's it. Get out of here. So, Valerie, you found a place you want to stay so far? Or? What's that? You found your place that you want to um, go to yet, or what? Yeah, I found a town that I want to move to. Called yeah, uh, like about saying like near Austin. I don't know if you want people to know. But it's near, it's near Austin. Okay. I'll just leave it at that. It's near Austin. Yeah, you got a lot. Of, I mean, you got a lot of savers there and Goodwills and thrift stores. You know, when I went to the Green Room deal a couple of years ago, hit a few of them. Austin is the capital of Texas, isn't it? Yes. I think so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I thought I remembered that from Dallas. Because <laughs> Bobby was always flying to Austin for something. <laughs> One day I got to show an LP or PBS with um, Austin City Limits. Yeah. Okay. That's sad when you start yeah. having to draw on nighttime soap operas for your geography. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, that's not a soap opera. It's more of a uh, music show. Do I? Yeah. Yeah. Dallas was a soap opera kind of yeah, show. Yeah, Austin City Limits was. Oh, not Austin. Wasn't City that Limits. more yeah. like not Dallas? You know, I'm saying yeah, Austin City Limits. Yeah. That was a musical show, wasn't it? Yeah. Like, what are they, getting um, yeah. rock stars from country to anything get on there. You know, every once in a while you get rock stars get on there. Every once in a while and play. Usually it's more acoustic and all that type of stuff. Right. Yeah. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, got that one. Oh, that's pretty cool. With the belt buckle, that that's cool. Is that silver? Yeah, well, it says Mexico on the back. Yeah, because the back of it looks, that real. yeah, it's that alpaca. Yeah. yeah, the back of it looks real, you know, like you know, yeah. Now, Val, do you put on your jeans and get your cowgirl buckle and boots and hats and all that kind of stuff on? No, not unless I'm going to the rodeo. Now, those are the belt buckles you bought in the auction? Yes. Okay, I, I say I sort of recognize them. Yeah, you know. Is that oh, the, one, yeah. the Gucci one? Yeah, I got the Gucci one. Okay. That's, that's beautiful. Can you check the value of that one? What was the actual no, value? No, I haven't. I just I just started opening all the stuff up. There's quite a bit. There's I've been coming across <coughs> the silver. Um, this is not. I mean, it's just a belt buckle, but it's pretty. Mm -hmm. I think it'll sell. I like the alpaca one and this Budweiser one will probably do pretty well. Yeah, yeah, I think so. And the Gucci. Yeah, I'll tell you what, maybe the Budweiser one is probably there's probably a, a ton of those, but like said, so the Gucci one and. And the other ones. I didn't even see all that. I just saw that alpaca one and bit. Oh, this is this is just a letter J. I don't. Mm. That one probably won't do anything. I would be surprised at certain things. You never know. You know. Yeah. That looks like, that looks like, like a regular belt buckle. Yeah, people like that. It is a belt buckle. No, I said it looks like a regular one, like you. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But you never know. You know, Laverne, Laverne and Shirley. <laughs> Laverne always had the big L on her chest. I love that one. You like <laughs> that one definitely reminds you of Texas. Uh huh. What's all the little etchings around it, though? Is that letters? Yeah, it's the brand. Like branding. Like, like, yeah, branding. Yeah, 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 branding. Branding your cattle. Okay. Yeah. All you need to go check out is I think it's called Barton Springs. I don't know if you've ever been there. 
we were there at uh we were there with the uh, bona fide yeah yeah oh so i pick pick i don't know if you ever been there oh right i forget what we all in the new val one val two now, <laughs> like thing one, it. thing two. Oh, yeah, yeah. like three times. <laughs> like Todd, you know, and him, and you had Todd on the West Coast. And a lot of times, he might they both be in the shows at the same time. Uh huh. Yeah, but one is cold, that's ice cold water, you know. Oh, we used to go swimming and surfing and bodyboarding and boogie boarding and all that kind of stuff yeah. in there. That's one of the things I thought about when I was out on Catalina, Catalina Island is how do these people get into this cold water and stay for hours? I'll that tell was, you what. The trick is if you can stay in there until your body goes numb, you're doing good. <laughs> right? You, you're doing great. And then it's like it's no big deal. But, I mean, you just got to stay in there a little bit longer. Um, yeah. Oh, heck, we got we had about ten of us, or maybe more than that. And we jumped in all at the same time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all that. You know, back in the day, watching those the Frankie and uh, um, Annette movie and Friends movies. You know, you just thought that water was just as warm. And they're out there frolicking and playing mm -hmm. in it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> frolicking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love I, I, when we went to Florida, I mean, I, because I had never experienced the Atlantic Ocean, right. you know, compared to the Pacific Ocean. And of course, it was a lot warmer. Like, it's a lot warmer than, um, than the Pacific Ocean. To that's, me, it was. That's because our currents are coming from the equator. Right. Y'all's currents were coming from the damn Arctic, from right. Arctic. Right. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's. Yeah. Yeah. But I just didn't, you know. But I just loved it. I, I loved. It was almost like bath water almost. I mean, it wasn't. It was just different. And I, I loved that. That it was so different. But yeah, I was like, how do these people get out here and play in this stuff? <laughs> Which I guess if you get on a surfboard, at least you're out of the water, you know, hopefully you'll yeah. stay out of the water for a little while. Yeah, but I mean, you don't stay out of the water too long because you usually wipe out or, you know. Did you surf? No. I, I could just see Valerie up on a surfboard. I would love to learn how to surf, but mm -hmm. I, um, I mean, the, the closest I ever came to that was, you know, riding a boogie board. Right. That was that was the closest. So yeah, I back, would love to. Back when I was a, a very very young man, we'd get out on the lake early in the morning before people would you know other boats were out there and the water was sort of smooth, mm -hmm. and we'd get the boat up at a plane, not at a plane, just about breaking over into a plane so it's throwing a good wake, and we'd mm -hmm. start up on a surfboard, holding onto a ski rope, and you'd make your way over to the edge of the where the crest of the weight that the boat's throwing mm -hmm. and that was our surfing <laughs> yep. that was our inland that was our inland surfing um i watched a video and it was uh oh my god i can't remember clint eastwood's son i can't remember what his name is he's a hunk of a man now i mean he is he took very he, he took after his father very well looks just like him but you know modern and um but he is uh he does a lot of surfing um like you know different countries and everything like this well he went to this city is the city's called lamore california and they had a it was a man-made somehow they could create the waves um, they had like a, a, a man-made canal, basically, full of water. And they had this machine that they made to create a wave so you could basically practice and figure out different styles of right. surfing. It was pretty cool, actually. Yeah, they have parks like that now. It's called a wave pool. Is what I mean, that's what it's called. It's called a wave pool. Yeah. 
Well, this was this was a little more intricate than that. Okay. And was it more, was it more the, down at the Schlitterbahn, which is down in Vows, mm -hmm. Texas? They had this thing. It's like they're shooting a stream of water at, on a deck, mm -hmm. and you jump out on it on your board, and right. you you can do whatever you want to do with it. Yeah, that's not that's not that's not this. You talking it's, about it's a is. it's a lot more intricate than okay than than that. But I mean, I I guess probably on a bigger level, um, you know, more for like mm -hmm. career. Um, surfers and right. and stuff like that, but it was pretty cool actually. It was and Lemoore is probably about probably about an hour from uh, my hometown. Oh, okay. And uh, yeah, it was, it was pretty interesting. Val, have y'all been to the Sl the Schlitterbahn? Uh, I don't really go there that much because there's just a bunch of kids there pissing in the pool. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't do that. I don't blame you. See, that's the thought when I was on that cruise. We were on that cruise ship about getting into that little pool that's on that cruise ship with 3,000 people. There's that's a lot I'm, of children on that. <laughs> a lot yeah, of children on that ship. Nasty. Well, we had family members and stuff that would work there, and they'd tell us about the floaters and all kinds of uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'll just. Sorry. Would you bring me a glass of tea? Oh, the caddy, the caddy shut. <laughs> yeah. So nasty. I'm like, nah. Yeah. But yeah, I've been the there. Old before. Bam, the old the bomb. <laughs> I've been to the one in Galveston uh, and the one in New Braunfels. And it's owned by the people by Cedar Fair now. I didn't, I was looking at uh, the, 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 Nationwide season passes for um, for Carowinds, and they they listed it as one of their parks now. Oh, hmm. and we have a uh, shoulder bomb here in uh, Kansas City too. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. <coughs> I've never been, but yeah, there's one. There's one. Well, it's been a long time since we've been. Yeah. The one in Galveston, that was the one I think that had the slide that Darren said he went down that slide and it took him half an hour to pull the shorts out of his hind end. <laughs> um, the only reason yeah. I know of it is that they used to, on the Travel Channel, They, the Travel Channel, I don't even know if the Travel Channel still exists anymore, but when the Travel Channel used to do travel videos, thank you, um, they did a they did a feature on it and it was looks really cool and we always would talk about going out there but we just never have yeah it's pretty popular sitting on the balcony of a cruise ship is more my speed now that days and yeah well mine too <laughs> hustling down a dead gum mm. super slide oh super slide do y'all remember those or did they have them when y'all were kids it was a big sliding board, and you get on. I mean, it'd be like eight eight lanes lot wide, and yeah. you get like in a burlap bag, and you slide mm -hmm. down. A bag? Yeah, it was like a burlap bag. You'd sit on it. No, I've never and been on one with a burlap bag. Yeah, it was. Was it plastic? Some of them were plastic. Some of them were metal. Yeah, I think I remember the the metal. But they were big, huge things and real popular. Yeah. I remember that. Of a place called Southwind. They had like three different lanes. One was like straight, one, you know, it, and like I said, they had water going down it. And I guess it took you about two yeah. minutes to get down. No, it. these weren't. These didn't have water. They were just like big old yeah. slide boards. Yeah. Yeah. But you know that would also have been. Let's see, I was a child, and so that would have been right. in the the late '60s. <laughs> That's when I were we. I was yeah. We were born in the late '60s. Yep. I was born in 57. But, uh. That's purple. Oh, do they still have those fairs, Liz? But that was, I mean, that was excitement for us, you know. Sounds like fun. 
you just climbed up a big ladder and then you slid down. <laughs> that was it. But it was, mm -hmm. it was, it was tall and it was, you know, lengthy. Oh, Beth said she loved super slides. Yeah, uh, Beth says, uh, I know about those clothing mishaps on water rides. <laughs> <laughs> well, I went down one time on a like these, like a big, it used to be called place Thunderbird Beach and the slide was probably from the 60s. Well, I guess this was like in the 70s. And I, bought, you know, I didn't really have a swimming suit, so I bought my cousin's swimming suit with a little bit of a small thing, but I went down backwards on this thing. <laughs> it really didn't allow, allow you to go backwards, but sometimes been who was the lifeguard at the top. You know, I'll probably the youngest one ever go down backwards. But by the time I got to the bottom, you know, <laughs> my swimsuit, mm -hmm. as soon as I hit the water, the suit came off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was able to catch it, you know, <laughs> before it actually came off my legs. <laughs> Some friends of mine t were at, um, what's it called, Atlantis in the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. And they have a big water park. And they have one that you basically, when they pull the door for you, you just kind of like drop straight down. Oh, yeah, shoot. Yeah, yeah a shoot, shoot type thing. thing. Uh. <laughs> he said he felt like he'd been fixed by the time he got to the bottom of that. <laughs> <laughs> that made him see pulling so far up his butt. That's horrible. Hmm. Yeah, but these kids, they, you know, and I, I know I sound like a paw paw, but there's some things that the kids will never be exposed to that. Oh, yeah. I guess because we didn't have we didn't have phones and game. I mean, you know, cell phones and computer games and all that kind of stuff. You know, we got out in the woods with sticks and <laughs> hit each other with them playing. I look at the basic playground back from the seventies. Long narrow slides, merry go rounds, and all that, you know, and those things, you know, you would say, Oh, get off that, you're gonna hurt yourself, son. It's cause like you said, if you fall off, you know. And some I mean, of them on a hot slide, I remember that, you know. Yeah. And some of those suckers, those merry go round things, you're lucky if you got off of there and didn't have tetanus. <laughs> <laughs> they were metal. Mm -hmm. Or you have two or three guys that would run, start running, or they'd be on the side, you know, trying to get to make the thing go as fast as they could, you know, while you were sitting on there and going dizzy. When we were when we were kids, I guess that would have been about ten or eleven. We always camped at this certain camp around that on Lake Mary in South Carolina. Uh, we spent usually spent a week of vacation every year down there. And if you just cut me loose, cat, I'm gonna be very unhappy. And uh, One of the day there was there was like five families that always did like one week of vacation a year down there, and uh, one of the dads was he is a big old man. He was he was in the navy. We we'd get about five of us on that merry-go-round, and he could just grab that thing and he could sling that sucker. Right. And you, <laughs> I mean, you, you went for a ride. <laughs> He would do it about five times, and he says, "Okay, y'all had enough." <laughs> you wore him out. You know, the giant seesaws. They don't, you don't see none of that stuff at playgrounds anymore. No, because the babies will get hurt. Yeah. And the monkey bars. Oh yeah, I remember those. Now they've got these real nice vinyl coated. <laughs> Playgrounds and stuff like mm -hmm. that. That's what they put in down here. Underneath it, not concrete or you know hard um, ground. Yeah. Do what, Val? That's what they put in down here at our city park. They took all the wooden playscape down, and they put in all vinyl or the not vinyl, but you know, and even the bottom doesn't have the wood chips or anything. It's a squishy type of vinyl yep. plastic. Yeah, like and it, tires that they compressed together. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. like wrestling, like wrestling mats. Yes, uh, all basically. throughout the whole thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then um, it was in the news the other day. Somebody went and like uh, 
spray painted graffiti on some of it. Like why bother, you know, people are so are so bad with that. Yep. Going going down four eighty five, there is a sign that extends over one side which is four lanes wide. And on uh, one side is you know like go getting the right hand lane to go to north to Charlotte, left hand lane to go to Columbia, blah blah blah. On the other side, somebody has painted in graffiti. And mm -hmm. How in the hell? Well, we know how they got up there, but how they didn't get caught <laughs> is yep. amazing. There's a link, Tara. Um, but I like I like graffiti. I like well, some of it's pretty good art, man. You don't must like to heck. I want to hire you to paint on the side of my building, but I want a motorcycle scene. And all these, you know, crazy letters and stuff like right. that. I mean, I, I just really like it. Uh, well, but the best time to see the stuff is on that. The average you're gonna see is on trains. It seems like you see them more on trains all the time than anything. Yeah. It's a really nice stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying it's like the train stuff. Uh, time the you know? railway passes through Charlotte. And so when they do go up through here, it just like screws traffic up big time. But anyway, we were sitting wait, wait for this hundred car train to go by. And one car went by and there was a full mural on the side of that thing. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, they call them basically taggers. So you got what you call professional taggers. Mm -hmm. But you know what's so funny is where all the numbers were on it. They must yeah. have taped over them. Because they were just as clear and clean. So they must, you know, like I said, they must have taped over them and then when they did their painting, then peeled it off, which is cool. I mean, they still have their identifiers on it. But I'm odd like that. I just like bizarre things like that. Roberta says, well, they're damaging other people's property. Well, I'm going to tell you what. Sometimes <laughs> when you're sitting waiting for a hundred car train to go by, it's nice to have something. Oh, yeah. That's something interesting to look at. You know, about, like you said, about a couple hundred cars pass you. Hey, well, I wonder what the next one's going to look like. They're going you know, to be better looking. I remember as a kid, we'd sit and we'd count cars. Trains go by, we'd can't have to count all the cars on <laughs> Yeah, it was kind of slow back in them days. Oh, you know, the only trains they don't do anymore is you never see a caboose on them anymore. Uh-uh. I don't know if it's been about maybe 10 years. One of my customers, that's what he did. He used to ride the caboose and all that. And a lot of time on these big bridges, you get off and walk the bridge before even the train went over. Well, they don't even do that anymore, he said, you know? Yeah. There's a guy down in Rock Hill that's got a, he's got a caboose. In his backyard, it's like a, a a rental. You know, people like a B and B type, not a B and B, like a mm. Airbnb thing. Yeah. Got a bathroom and everything, and it's real nice. Uh, but it's a uh, it was a caboose. What they did was they tore, they did away with some tracks. But he bought them before they did away with the tracks, and so they could you know push it in with the with the, one of those little train cars that they move cars around with them. But uh, pretty spiffy. Guys, I'm going to take off order. I'll see y'all probably sometime this week. All right. All right. Okay. Have, a good Have a good night. night. Bye, Glenn. Good night. Good night. Down in a little town called Lancaster that's below us. Um. There's a company down there that has two of the railroad cars you can rent. So, like, if you wanted to go to, uh, say, you want to go to DC, they would they would take it by their engine up to the um, Amtrak in Charlotte and connect it to the Amtrak, which you're you're paying like fifty cents a mile or something like that. But it's got like, I mean, it comes with a steward. Because you have to have somebody that's licensed by the rail company on board. So he also acts as a steward. 
and it's got like a couple of bedrooms in it. One of them's got a couple of bedrooms in it, then a dining room, and then a living room, and a little galley. And the other one's set up for like if you got twenty five of your closest friends, you know, mm -hmm. like a party car. Well, I thought Tara might come in and tell us what she bought. Well, she just got home, didn't she? Yeah, well, that's beside the point. She might need to get a drink, get something to eat, a potty break. <laughs> She's been out making enemies tonight. Oh, wow. No, I can't sense. sing the little caboose song. Can you hear me now? Todd, can you sing the little caboose song? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you, Todd. You can hear me. It's uh -huh. cutting out, but I hear you. Uh, it's probably Glenn's fault. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. It's messing up. Just Tori, you just got to go get you a new computer. On the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Queen City Picker, can you sing the little caboose song? No, I can't. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> a little we have caboose. chug chug chug. There is a, a train, well, a train track that is about, I don't know, half a block from us. Mm hmm. It's it's uh it can be pretty loud when when it comes when it comes by and it blows its horn um elvis howls at it <laughs> and if i'm on the phone with atlas at the same because he's a he loves trains so if i'm at the on the phone with them the same time the train's going by i'll put my phone up so he can see the Oh. All the cars pass. He loves that. My in-laws live. There's a train. There's a train. A major train line at the base of their hill, and so trains go by all the time. Mm -hmm. And when I first went up there, started going up there, one every time one came by, it woke me up at night. Now I can see mm -hmm. right through. I don't even pay any attention to them. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can I can hear them when when the windows are open, which is which is fairly rare. I usually don't leave the windows open, um, but yeah, I mean, if the windows are open, you can hear them plain as day. Well, you're gonna have to explain how your keyboard got wet. Did you not get to the bathroom on time? <laughs> Bless her heart. They have had a, things need to slow down for them. Yeah, Liz says we live by train tracks too. I love it now. It took some time to get used to it. Yeah, you can weed through some neighbors real fast like too. <laughs> I, you know, when we got here and, and I seen the house and everything and then I heard the train, I was like, I looked at Mike and I'm like, mm, I don't know. And he said, Oh, just get, you'll get used. To, you'll be fine. And uh, I think I I don't think they blow the horn after. I think it's after ten or eleven o'clock, and they they don't blow or they're not supposed to. Right. Um, they're not supposed to start up again. I think it's like five or five thirty or something. Ugh. So That's you know, so but pretty much through the night. They, they don't blow the horn. And like I, I said, with the air on, those clothes, you can't even, I mean, you feel a little shake, but that's about it. It's, uh, it's not, not that bad. You get used to it. Yeah. Like I said, they would, the one up by my in-laws, 
it used to wake me up and now I can just go up there and I can sleep right through it. It don't bother me at all. Yeah. And it's real cool because you go, it, it goes through Old Fort and it, it's headed towards Asheville and it gets to a point where it makes a, it makes a loop. So mm -hmm. the real long trains, the, 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 the engine will pass, you know, the engine will see the caboose. That's kind mm -hmm. of loop it makes. And down in mm -hmm. the middle of this place is a, a man-made geyser called Andrew's Geyser. It's gra a great oh, wow. Ed, um, geyser. Anyway, mm -hmm. it, it's pretty cool. Especially when the winter and they've got the geyser running, it'll freeze and look like a big tulip. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Well, guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up. Yeah, I'm getting ready to call it a night, too. Okay. I don't have to get up at 5.30 in the morning. I can sleep till 6. <laughs> oh, wow. Get my blood flowing and move around a little bit. I'll Just probably be in the chat tomorrow, tomorrow, but I won't be online because she's working from home tomorrow. Okay. Okie dokie. Well, we'll see y'all later. And then again, I might sleep till 11. Just depends what time I go to bed tonight. So I, want to do, I want to do a little bit more listening tonight before I go to bed. Yeah. All right. All See right. you later. Good night, y'all. Good night, Todd. Good night. Thank you, everybody that's still in the chat for coming Bye. in. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. See you later. Thanks, Tom. everybody. <laughs>